Hey guys, welcome to this video where we are going to dive deep into how Photo Pro handles EXIF metadata. And it is, I'm so proud of this feature. This is a very powerful feature and there's a lot to get into. So we'll take it one at a time here. So the first feature I wanna get into is EXIF meta captions. So this is an option that you will see um, and it's meant for when working with um, batch photo groups. So when you're importing a lot of, um, a large folder of images into Photo Pro, um, this gives you uh, the option of um, having Photo Pro use the, use meta tags to generate the captions instead of the image file name, which it will do by default. So I'll show you a little bit just kind of how that looks and works. So in the Photo Pro group settings here, this is uh, the group settings. Um, let's just see, uh, so for thumbnail captions and lightbox captions, I'm just going to set it to the none. This is the meta caption option. I'm just going to set it to none, just so you can see what Photo Pro does by default to batch images. So here I have a group of batch images. And now I'm getting uh, what Photo Pro does. It takes the file name, this is the actual file name, and it removes the dashes and puts spaces. And it also capitalizes the first letter and it takes off like the .jpg or .png. It takes off the uh, file type at the end. So you're kind of left with Photo Pro trying to do its best to uh, give a caption automatically to images. And this caption is, is like actually like baked into the page data. So it's Google uh, crawlable and it's also set for the alt tag as well. So it's important, um, whatever pops up here, it's important to the page and to Google. But this can be um, a pain in the butt because you might want to say something better than just maybe the image file name or you don't wanna adjust the file names or maybe you've already spent all your time adding um, like in Lightroom or Adobe, not Adobe, but in Apple Photos, you already have spent time uh, giving custom uh, titles and captions to those images. So um, I, have, uh, I have added um, in Lightroom to these uh, exact images. I'm gonna turn the filter on so we just see flagged images. Here I have, and let's just take it by image by image basis. So here we have the image of the woman playing guitar. And uh, I'm going to set this to none. Okay. So let's find that woman playing guitar. So here she is. Um, so here we have the file name right here. I'll kind of scoot this over. And then I, in Lightroom, I've added a uh, meta title of tuned in and um, a caption of uh, for every moment if property utilized has the potential to transcend space and time. So actually it's my wife that added these really uh, nice captions and titles. <laughs> she got creative with it, she did a good job. So for your entertainment. Um, but anyways, uh, so she added a custom title and caption. So the title and caption are different. So now if I wanted that to appear here in the thumbnail, I would go to thumbnail captions, meta caption, and I can choose the title. And now it says tuned in, just like it has tuned in um, over here for this image, it says tuned in right here. And then we have the much longer caption. So then we can now go to, uh, the meta caption here, and then just choose caption. So notice how now we are, it's joined from all the captions uh, that have been entered in. And for a thumbnail, it's a lot to look at, but for a light box image, the long caption works really, really nicely. So this gets even cooler. We have for the light box caption, we have a meta caption option as well. So we are going to set this to have the long caption and we're going to set the thumbnails to have the shorter title caption. 
So now our lightbox images have the long description caption. And now the thumbnails have the shorter um, lightbox captions. And, you know, light, Lightroom, um, it does have the title and caption fields here. But, uh, and I know not everyone uses Lightroom. Um, if you ha are a big fan of Apple Photos, um, you can enter this information, same stuff, into uh, the info panel for images in Apple Photos as well. So uh, yeah, that is a lot of caption control that you get by keeping your images in like a dedicated image editor, which many professional photographers, you're already doing that. And then just by entering the title and caption fields, you can have that batch into Rapid Weaver and have those read uh, with a lot of control here in the meta caption fields. Now let's say though that you want to uh, sort now these, these thumbnails. You can sort based upon um, some meta information here. So for example, so sorting right now is set to none, but we can now go and sort by the lightbox caption ascending and lightbox caption descending. And so I'll kind of show you what this means. So if I set the lightbox caption to use the shorter title, so see how this says tuned in in the first few letters, it begins with a T, this one begins with an R, this one begins with letter A. So there's no sorting going on here. But if I go to lightbox caption ascending, we have the a through Z order, now A, and then first letters F, R, R, T, to U, so up and away. So, and then if we wanted to reverse this order, lightbox caption descending, and now we have the A through Z um, being shown as first all the way up to the letter A. So what's happening here in the background is PhotoPro is looking at the caption for the full size image, which is the light box image. And it's taking the first five letters and it's trying to figure out um, A through Z, you know, what order to base them in. So that's kind of how PhotoPro is thinking. It's the first five letters of the light box caption. So whatever you set down here um, is what is going to sort through the light box caption ascending and descending. But then we have something even more useful, which is the EXIF date time newest first and EXIF date time oldest first. So here um, I've created, this is a modification of the project file. I've created um, just to show you how the date sorting, date time sorting works. So date time is already recorded as you're going around uh, shooting, um, like say any, any photo shoot, um, date time is uh, logged on into the metadata as you're doing your photo shoot automatically. Um, so here, sorting is uh, giving us a really huge benefit. So uh, my wife is a photographer and she uh, shot the interior of this uh, home called the North End Home. And you can see how she started off, she walks in, there's a mud room right there. Then there's like the main living space and then the kitchen, or not kitchen, but the dining area that's directly connected to the kitchen. You can see how um, it starts off with the beginning of the kitchen, then she pans to the middle. Um, and so there's order here. And then after the kitchen, she goes into the bedrooms and then she eventually gets to the outside. Now watch this. Uh, so this is the whole uh, photo group resource. But, uh, and I've sorted it so that the oldest picture is first. So the oldest picture would be the one she first shot. And so that's why she walks in the door and she shoots a photo of the mudroom. And so that's the first image. And then it goes directly into the living room. But if I go to the newest image, which is the last one that she shot in the whole photo shoot, notice how when she's done with the house, she goes outside and she shoots a picture of the house. And so now the oldest or the last picture she shot the newest one is first now 
So even if you're doing a really long photo shoot and you want it to appear in the order at which you, um, the order at which you actually shot the images, Photo Pro can support that, which is a really huge power feature. Rapid Weaver, um, and if uh, image is on your server, nothing is going to modify the date time uh, meta information in your images. It's not possible. So Photo Pro does not look at when the photo was created, um, and, it, and it doesn't look at when the photo was modified. It ignores all that. It only reads that EXIF date time um, metadata, which there are editors out there that can edit that information. And, uh, but it's, but, but really if you're using date time sorting, it's a pretty rock solid way of predictably organizing your photos, um, when making a gallery. So now let's get into the last feature, which is, um, more so, uh, like editing and the informational pop-ups that come up with EXIF data. So here we have uh, EXIF data pop-ups right here. So here's a Jeep. Um, it is, uh, the actual image uh, has, says it's in Moab, Utah. Um, and then if we click this little eye icon, we get to see all the EXIF data related to this image that photo found. Uh, it doesn't, uh, Photo will not return all EXIF data because that can be a lot, but these are some of the most popular uh, fields. So we got keywords, the camera model, the lens model, focal length, aperture, um, you know, just all the, the, the meat and potatoes of what photographers are looking for. But um, I guess before I get into the but, I'll say that every time that an image has metadata, it's going to, um, or photo finds it, it's going to show this uh, eye info um, icon. And so here we see that's a, a Hasselblad uh, camera that has taken this image um, and we see the focal length. And here we see that this was a Canon uh, 5DSR that took this picture. So it's really, really cool that photo will just give a nice little pop-up. And if it doesn't find a certain field, it just sim simply will not show it. The only things that are listed in here are things that photo finds and supports. And that's all that will be shown here. So, but one of the things that I wanted to get into that's even cooler, the last thing about this is though this image was shot in Moab, Utah, it is not in the EXIF metadata as far as like the geolocation, it, it just wasn't recorded. So I'm gonna go to a even further advanced thing that you can do uh, to, um, to edit this and show you how Photo Pro supports and how it handles GPS location data in the EXIF. So I have that image right here and I'm going to edit the metadata for this Jeep image picture. And here's where I'm going to recommend a great app from the app's Mac app store called uh, Image, um, Image, Meta Image, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. <laughs> um, so here we go. I have the image I just dragged and I dropped it in here. So like, let's say uh, that I, this is where it starts off and you can simply drag and drop an image right into it. And this will read literally everything meta-wise that's associated with that image. But at the bottom, you can see that there is just uh, little to no GPS information recorded for this image. So, but we can adjust this. So, um, let's go into the uh, location show editor. And be I know this uh, in the file name, it's, let's even take a look at this. Uh, uh, it's not showing it. Maybe where I got the image from, it said Moab, Utah, and that's where I'm thinking. But let's go to Moab, Utah, United States. Okay. And let's just put the, uh, click the, let's do it arrow. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, the go arrow. And automatically it's uh, baking those coordinates into the image. And so let's go to validate changes and overwrite that selected file. So now it says, I did it. All right, so now this image should have that new GPS location um, in it. And I'm only doing this because uh, just to show you how that you can add GPS data. Um, if this image already had GPS data to start with, photo would reveal that too. 
But here we're gonna bake it in, and I did want to show you this really cool um, meta editing image app, and I love it. Uh, so um, let's get back into here, and let's replace the main image with our orange Jeep. It won't look like we did anything, but we did. And now we press that, we check out the meta information, and now we have a GPS latitude and GPS longitude, and then it says Google Map Open GPS Location. So if an image has GPS location, Photo will pick that up, display it, and then give you a really cool link to open up a new separate tab. And I'll show you what that looks like if we preview in Safari, because Rapweaver doesn't allow you to just uh, open up tabs. Um, so we go to here, and then let's open up this location. Now, Moab, Utah does have a city, so that's why we're getting the city. But, um, but yeah, just for example purposes, you can start to see we are now in, it actually recorded, it opened up a map in Moab, Utah, and that is uh, pretty, pretty nifty. So, yeah, you feed in any images, even with GPS data, and Photo Pro will open up a separate Google map to that location as well. So, super cool stuff. Um, I will, uh, if, if more photographers uh, are saying they need, um, you know, there's a particular meta tag that, you know, you just really got to have and it's just not supported, it's not appearing, um, I will definitely consider um, adding it in future updates. But there's just so many meta tags, I definitely uh, don't want to add them all because uh, that would just get overwhelming uh, to folks. And um, yeah, so Photo Pro comes with comprehensive uh meta support out of the box at launch and that about wraps it up for this meta tutorial.